SpaceX's Starship is powered by methane. Its Falcon 9 runs on highly refined kerosene called RP-1. In response to a post about antimatter rockets, hypothetical spacecraft will be powered by antimatter. Elon Musk tweeted only two words, ultimately yes. SpaceX's Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket represent a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew, also cargo which will orbit around the Earth, the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. Starship will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. It has the ability to carry in excess of 100 metric tons to Earth orbit. Starship will enter Mars' atmosphere at 7.5 km per second and decelerate aerodynamically. Building cities on Mars will require affordable delivery of significant quantities of cargo and people. The fully reusable Starship system uses in-space propellant transfer. In order to achieve this and carry people on long-duration, interplanetary flights, the superior energy density of antimatter annihilation has often been pointed to as the ultimate source of energy for propulsion. In day-to-day -day life the cost of fuel is being improved. So for launching satellite scientists need to spend more money. To avoid this, scientists introduced advanced antimatter propulsion rockets. Propulsion power is created through collision between electron and positron ions. It is a type of ion propulsion rocket. The important factor is availability of fuel. To avoid the cost of fuel this type of rocket can be used. Power produced by this propulsion is very high compared to any other. In short, antimatter is matter with its electrical charge reversed. For example, antiprotons are like protons, but they carry a negative charge. Storing antimatter can be challenging. Upon meeting, matter and antimatter annihilate each other, leaving behind other subatomic particles. This process leads to an explosion which emits pure radiation that travels at the speed of light. Therefore, it is important to keep antimatter away from ordinary substances. It is predicted that it would cost $100 billion to create one milligram of antimatter.